which way the guy went. <laughs> What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. So today we are here at the new Goon Squad Garage. And as you guys seen in the previous video, we had to take care of a few issues over here. Of course, we had a couple intruders or whatnot, and we even gave this whole entire shop a nice clean. It is immaculate out here. We can just work really easily, basically. But also what we want to do is prepare this sucker right here for the burnout competition in two days, so we don't got no time to waste. And previously, we ran to the junkyard and picked up a limited slip differential because this right here is a one wheel pill machine and and it's just making clouds from one side, basically. You know we what I mean? We need both tires spinning. That way we can both be grinning, dude. That is right, right there. So what we're gonna do is swap that out right quick. I think it should be just a really easy, um, just take out and then throw away and then put that one in right there. We what may have to keep it because we may have to go back to all wheel drive because okay. I doubt you can run that with this all wheel drive system. It'll you break. Know what I mean? It'll break the transmission, dude, if you do it like that. Or Dude, we put that differential back in later and swap it out with the Hellcat motor. Dude, I was wondering if an all-wheel drive what? system will bolt on to that, dude. That would the be Hellcat motor? Insane. We'll have to look into that. But Pops, what do we got over here? Is this gonna be a pretty easy job or a pretty difficult one? What you think? I, I think it's uh, not too hard. Not too hard. Yes, yeah, a little bit uh, work, but uh, we need to drop it down uh, exhaust pipe and uh, this and lo lose it. Difference and a little down and hook it the uh, drive shaft. I think it's that's old. right. Let's just, let's go bring in the tools for pops over here. He'll have this sucker down in no time. We'll have this sucker making some clouds. guys so we just did a quick switcheroo on that rear differential and we finally got both of the wheels spinning at the exact same time which that is perfect this thing will officially probably drift which we got to probably test that out maybe slap on our spare wheels and tires that we got over there because the ones that we got on it right now are like some light truck tires these are meant to last a long time the other ones you know what we want to go ahead and just roast them suckers out and practice yeah, with them. we don't want to waste these because these are going to be our burnout tires right here dude, dude that's made for long burnouts right there and we're super excited about this and it did take us roughly around like 30 minutes literally we were in and out that was an easy swap but the next thing that we're gonna do is go ahead and clean this sucker up I mean look at all that filth on it man that double burnout really got this thing filthy and once we clean it up we got something for it dude well, look at this man we got some decals to make this thing look like a legit cruiser you know yes, what I mean sir and that's gonna look super awesome on the side especially when we're doing burnouts and stuff yes dude. sir this is what you were asking you guys were asking for so we're gonna make it happen so let's just go ahead and get this thing sparkled and slap on some stickers
looks scary now. Almost looks like a, a cop car now, dude. It does, man. That is sweet right there. We got Goon Squad simply built. It's like in a 3D effect. Dude. And of course, we got the star right there. Dude, with our logo, dude, that just looks incredible. This is what this car needed right here. Now it actually looks legit, dude. dude. That is just awesome, man. It's going to be perfect for burning out now. Exactly. We might throw on a few other stickers here and there, but for the most part, what we just did was give it a wash, threw the decals on, and then we also threw in a full tank of gas, full right? Full tank of gas, mixed it with that nice fuel booster. Uh, booster right there. Hopefully it boosts a little bit of horsepower. And also we went ahead and fixed our AC system. We had a few uh, things fuses. going wrong. Fuses. fuses. Then we had to pump the system, put brand new fluid in there, and it's ice cold, man. I want to have my window shut, I believe, during the burnout. That way I don't get smoke in there. And I want to like listen to Beethoven while, you know, <laughs> burning out the craziest burnout, dude. You know dude. what I mean? I wonder if smoke can get in the car while it's all closed. I don't think it so. May. Maybe a little bit. You'll get it like may. a hint of it, but it'd just be a little extra with the tea you'll be sipping. We'll see. Day. We'll ask Cletus to see what's better, have the windows open or closed. He'll let us know, but definitely AC is a must in this thing. It was just super hot, but right now what we did was also throw on our practice tires, and as you can tell, this is not the exact same wheel as all of them. They're the same size. It's just a different setup, but these are our practice slash spare tires that we're going to throw on after we uh, blow out our competition tires right there. Yep, so these competition tires are actually actually heavy duty the one on this side right here is a light duty so that we got a heavy duty on the right side and no, no, light... this is the heavy duty oh this, one. Is, the heavy yeah, duty. this is the heavy duty one the one on that side is the light duty one we're running the light duty ones on the front right here these are just regular 18 inch tires but for the back we, ju we just had one extra one of those and one extra one of these and we're gonna see which one actually burns faster and which one lasts longer you yes know what to I mean? kind of let us know what we should actually do on the setup yeah. we'll switch things up depending on which tire is better which one makes more smoke which which one lasts one, longer? Yeah, we want the one that lasts longer, which I'm going towards these uh, heavy duty tires, which I think they will last longer. But let's just go ahead, hop in this thing. We already got the transmission fuse pulled, so it'll stay in first gear. See what this thing does. So on to test two. Test one was just a transmission fuse pulled and the transmission is always in first gear, I believe, but it is kind of lacking in power a little bit right off the get go. You know, the, you have to hold the throttle and then it gets into it. But I'm gonna try with the transmission fuse in there and i'm actually put it in first gear but it kind of wants to switch for you i noticed when we're doing a burnout but let's see if it actually will drift a little bit better you let's know what it. i mean let's do it guys so it's definitely a lot better with the transmission fuse pulled because that right there as soon as i'm in the drift on the sideways it wants to switch to second to third it's kind of crazy it goes nuts i don't know why it won't allow you to just stick in the gear because what i'm doing is auto stick on and i'm switching to first gear but it still wants to switch for me so it's going to be transmission fuse out you definitely know I mean? yeah where it just stays in first gear the whole time but man that was some sick test Dude. right there now i think the next test is going to be definitely just sitting there probably roasting them yeah and just kind of light them up a little bit or let's see what's going on right now i mean they're they're pretty good they're getting a little choppy with this this asphalt is very, really bad you really know rough I mean? it's really rough so it's going to eat up the tires a little bit quicker this one um, almost the same you know almost the same it, i don't think it has the height like that tread does you yeah. know what i mean that tread's a little taller but you know what i say we just go ahead pull that fuse out one more time and see how well it actually does a burnout Man, that 
was a little sketchy one right there. Put a little, put a little dinger in it. You know hey, what I mean? That's that's all practice. Put right a there. little dinger. We had our little, our our old, you know, Posting. fence post was just sitting there. So we put a little dinger in it. But you know what? You know that, that ain't what, nothing. You know what kind of dinger these tires are gonna put when they explode? Though I think oh. they're gonna scratch this thing up. You think you know so? You're I mean? gonna send it that hard? I might send it until they explode. You know wow. what I mean? But Let's that see was the just tires. A, that was just a pretty good burnout right there. Nothing too like uh, long, but dude, that kind of burned these up pretty good. Really, really fast. I know, dude, super fast. You can actually even uh, look at it like way more different from this one. So this oh, one still yeah. has a lot more tread. So we're definitely gonna use these tires right here, these uh, chilies right here, <laughs> and uh, I think that's gonna be our burnout tire for sure. You know which way the guy went? Well, we can put we can put the business on a watch list. Uh, I, I come down here all the time. A lot of times, I'll actually park my car right here, um, and you know I'll, I'll watch for people walking around. I appreciate you guys coming out. Better day. Yeah. <laughs> I, I remember someone telling me that they knew someone that had a huge YouTube channel. Alrighty guys, so it is actually the next day here and as soon as we took off, you know, we, we picked up some stuff on our camera. We see somebody just running across our parking lot back and forth, this shirt flailing about to pop off and that set off our alarms, the sensors, and the cops literally came out within what? Like, dude, a couple of seconds, not dude, even a minute, dude. Almost basically a minute, which that's just insane, which we do appreciate those guys for coming out here, of course, just keeping an eye out. And they even placed our business on a watch list, which we already have alarms, but you know what? This is just going to make our security even better. Even so. tighter, man. That is awesome. Not a big deal you know we're working on a fence and all that good stuff but before we wrap this video up you know what we got something super epic look at the shirt that i got on right here dude Ooh -wee, man. this is exactly what that porsche is going to look like the gt2 rs the miami blue the yellow calipers the turbo s wheels all that stuff this is dude. down to the details this is exact and right, right now we only got two of these shirts one for me and one for you and what we got to do is actually a pre-order sale because the shirts are actually going to come in i think within a week or two but you know what we got something super epic to just basically throw in in with some of the random orders look at this right here dude Dang, as you guys son. seen in the previous video we gave away a bunch of tools and a bunch of goodies we wanted to do something that we love to do we love to wash our vehicles all the time and we want to encourage you guys to wash your vehicles as well look at this we got a wash and shine kit this is everything that you need you got the filter right there so no rocks will scratch your paint you got a sponge wheel cleaner tire shine snow foam the whole nine yards we got some snow foam uh, sprayers right here some foam cannons and all that good stuff going out as well just to get you guys hey. just to shine your you whip. never know and you have a really high chance because we don't have much of these and so you never know you might have one of these come in the mail too dude. exactly so goonsquad.com if you cop one of these you're basically just going to be in a just a certain section of a list and we're just going to go ahead and just select some random orders toss some stuff in there and you guys will just have a good kit to wash your vehicle but with a brand new shirt with a brand new shirt yes, so sir. it's a win-win situation dude yes, you, sir. nobody loses here but anyways with all that being said that's going to be a wrap for today's video we got to get ready for this race and burnout competition so we'll catch you guys next time peace